Steve Mignani here for Astrodor Auctioneers and the Great Texas Mopar Horde Sale in the Desert. This is item number 48. It's a 1963 Dodge Dart convertible. Now, the first year for the Dodge Dart is an A body right here, replacing the Lancer of 1962. And the first year you could get a convertible in the A body family. Under the hood, expect nothing but the Slant 6. The V8 wasn't available till 1964. But that said, here is a 225 Slant 6 with uh, a one barrel carburetor, manual drum brakes all the way around, manual steering, and I'm loving the fact that here there is no rust. Here, again, no rust. Uh, in New England, these cars all become crunchy and see-through in this area here. This one looks to be very, very nice. Let's break out the magnet and see how the front fenders stack up. Down low, does the magnet stick? Oh, yes, it does. Yeah, very nice. Rust-free front fenders. And the door itself looks to be, yeah, very nice. These often bubble up down low. Let's take a peek inside. Now, this is a convertible, remember. First year for the convertible. Very rare and expensive body, to be very honest. And this being a GT, you see the GT logos here and on the body, but that means we're gonna see bucket seats inside. Now, this one does have the push button automatic torque flight transmission. There's the buttons. I like the sport steering wheel, which may have been added on. It's a little bit later. It's like a 64 Barracuda item right there, but that's okay, it goes right on. Uh, the floors on this, I can't see, but I would guess are very solid. Your foot would go through that if this was a traditional New England car with uh, the rusted uh, floors. Now the quarter panels, just continue our magnet search. Wipe off the paint and check with the magnet. Yeah, there's no filler down here. That is metal. How nice is that? We continue our search. Okay, right here, a little bit of bubbles. That's pretty classic for these cars to start to bubble. But again, that's not Bondo. Apparently nobody's been in here. That's just bubbling from underneath. This would not stick if that was plastic filler. Down the low here, that's another spot where these things are notorious for rusting. Magnet sticks. Nice. Around the back, we see the GT specific paneling here. Reverse lights in place. Rear bumpers looking really good, not banged or too badly pitted. Uh, the quarter panel again over here. The magnet, S does it stick? Okay, yeah, there it's, yeah, okay, a little bit of filler here. All right, doesn't want to stick right there. It sticks there, but here, probably some filler. Yeah, it's okay, it looks well done. More bubbles here, but again, this is a convertible. You gotta take what you can find when it comes to these things. Let's pop open this door. <laughs> Look inside, and yeah, there's the, uh, Dashboard's looking good. The in instrument cluster is there. Fantastic. And of course, the power top switch right here in the middle. That is a, a good sign. The power top was an option on these things. And wrapping it up with the front fender, we <coughs> break out the magnet one more time down low. And yeah, it sticks. So nice. This is a nicely preserved yeah, amateur restoration the red paint job but this car with a minimal amount of effort would make a fantastic cruiser keep the six or put a v8 in it that's your choice